Hey guys, and good morning. It is around 9 o'clock. I think it's almost 9.30, and I'm doing another vlog. Um, today is actually Friday, so Madison has therapy. And then we have a few things to do throughout the day. After, I'm going to go work out. I have not worked out in almost two weeks, and I'm finally have the okay to go work out. So that is what I'm going to do after Madison's therapy. And then I have to go to the store to pick up a birthday gift. Um, one of Ryan's little friends in his class, he's having a birthday party this weekend, and I said that we can go. So I need to go pick up a birthday gift for that party, which is tomorrow. Um, I'm not gonna vlog that party tomorrow just because Obviously, there's going to be other parents and other kids there, and I don't know if they would want themselves or their kids on YouTube, on the internet, so I'm not going to vlog that birthday party um, tomorrow, but I'll vlog today. Um, we also have to go grocery shopping, and then I have to go to Cosmoproc to get a few more um, hair products. We went yesterday, I went with my friend, and the one that we went to... Um, didn't have the specific shampoo I wanted or specific conditioner that I wanted. So we have to go to a different one. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today as well. And then, I'm like I said, I'm gonna go grocery shopping as well, but I'm gonna wait for Robert for that because we're going to start a new diet, the keto diet. We watched a document on it and we were really interested in trying it because of Madison. There was one family in that document that had a little girl who was on the spectrum there's no more um that was on the spectrum and i swear she was like a spitting image of madison from everything that she had medically wrong to things that she did physically and they said after starting her on that diet it helped tremendously like her attitude changed and she also had gi issues like madison and it really really helped that little girl and so yeah, there was just so many positive things. So we're gonna try, try it out, see how it works. Um, they did say though the first five or six days that they put their daughter on it, it was really hard, it was a really struggle. Like she would um, starve herself because she didn't want to try all the new foods, which is I'm pretty sure what Madison's going to do. So I'm not looking forward to that part. They said the first five or six days was the worst and the hardest. So we just have to get through those the first few days. Um, Comment down below and let me know if you guys want me to film our journey on the keto diet. If you guys would like me to film um, like calls and recipes and how it's going and my thoughts on it. And just give you guys like updates. Comment down below and let me know. I'll definitely take you guys on the journey with us because we're going to do it as a family. We're all going to go on the keto diet. So not only Madison, but me, my husband and Ryan. So that will be interesting. We're actually going to go grocery shopping today and buy a bunch of new food because everything in this house, some of the stuff in the house is keto friendly, but a lot of it is not. So that's what we're going to do. I am about to change my medicine diaper and head out. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Because I'm a big kid? Are you driving the boat? Go! 
go, Ryan. You're going backwards? You're silly. Looks like she's holding on for two life. Okay, she's gonna fly off. You saw brother? Alright, you can go, buddy. Where are you going? You want to go in there? Stop. You want to sit in it? No. You want to go in the tree house? She's over there. She's going to get lost in the grass with daddy. He wants to play in the grass. Hey, spin it really fast. You want me to spin it really fast? Okay, hold on. <laughs> and look, there's baby turtles too. But why are they lying? Harrison, what are you doing? You trying to get up? <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, and oh, almost fell down the stairs. Um, today is Tuesday. It is twelve o'clock. I'm about to leave in about. 20, 25 minutes to go pick up Ryan from school, but I thought I'd pick up the house a little bit. The house is always a catastrophe. All the toys are all thrown everywhere. Madison always makes messes. So I wanted to vlog a little bit today because I did vlog. Um, I did vlog a little bit two other days, but I really didn't get too much footage. So I thought I would vlog a little today because after I pick up Brian from school, I have to go to Target to return something. I have to return this dress. I bought this really cute dress for Madison, but I usually always um, check the tags to make sure it's the right size. Um, and this time around, I didn't. The hanger said 4T, and when I got home, it's actually a 3T. It's just this cute little like summer dress. And technically she can still wear, she still fits into 3T right now. A lot of her clothes are 3T, but I like to get them a size up for summer because I want her to be able to wear it for longer. And I know if I keep this, she won't be able to wear it for too long. So I don't know, I'm gonna bring it back and see if they have a 4T. If they have a 4T, I will exchange it. Hey, what are you doing? Um, if they have 4T, I'll exchange it. If not, I'll probably just end up keeping it because I did get it on clearance, but we'll see if they have that. And then I also have to pick up some paper towels and toilet paper. So you guys are going to come with me to Target. I know you guys are probably sick and tired of going to Target with me because I go so much, but what can I say? I love Target. But anyways, guys, I'm going to start picking up around the house and then head out to pick up Brian from school. My 
favorite place. Oh my gosh, my hair is looking crazy. Don't mind my hair, guys. Where are we? So we are at Target. And I just gave her some apples because she was screaming. But I'm in the clearance section because I need to exchange that dress. And they don't have a 4T. Not very happy about that. So I think I'm just going to have to keep the 3T that I already have. And then I want to get Ryan this really cute outfit. But he doesn't ever want to wear like pink. And it has like the shirt is like pink and I think like purple. But it's so cute. But he doesn't want it. I also was thinking about getting him a sweater for next year. But, oh they have it in 5T. So this is the dress I got her in. I have a 3T right now which is what her but I'm going to show everyone that you're a cranky baby. You gotta be nice. This is what happens every time I go to the store. She insists on snacks. This girl can eat so much, right? So we're still at Target. Looking at all the boy stuff. Ryan needs, oh that hat over there is cute. Ryan needs some of the summer stuff. Madison has a ton of summer stuff. And Ryan has like nothing. Are you happy now? You happy? And look, I love stuff like this. But Ryan gets so upset when I put him like in purple or pink. But this is so cute, this outfit. I think it's so cute. He'll never wear it. Oh, this is cute too. What, Madison? And I like these pants. He would never wear these pants. He actually has a pair of shorts. Or I'm pretty sure it's this color. And he's only worn it once. And am I the only one who loves kids in suspenders? I always put Madison in suspenders. Maybe I should put some on Ryan. Hey, I'm gonna put this hat on you since you're cranky. Oh, can you see the baby? Hi. You look cute in it. Do you like it? Put it back on your head. Can I see how it looks on your head? Maybe we can get it for your brother? No? She, I always forget to put the gate up. And she climbs up the stairs. Yep, she's up there. Yep. Bad, bad girl. Why are you up here? Good Mommy's job. trying to I'm finish walking, and you are being bad. My you guys house. don't mind the mess upstairs. I'm pretty oh, sure when I vlogged bad. earlier this morning, you guys saw. So guys, Madison has never gotten into my makeup until today. What's on your face? What's that? She got into my eyeliner. And it's all over her face. I'm not sure which eyeliner it is. I'm really hoping it's not the waterproof one. See, I'm a bad, bad baby. I'm a bad, bad baby. I got into mama's makeup. Okay, well, I got interrupted by a phone call and then Madison being upstairs. But anyways, like I was saying, I went to Target. I picked up a few other things and I thought I would show you guys. The first two things are face washes. Um, This one's by Avino. I have used Avino in the past and I really do like it. Um, I don't really know why I stopped using it, but I did. Oh my God, the kids are so cute. I have to show you guys. Oh, of course, right when I hit record, the cuteness and laughing stops. But Ryan was just running around. Madison, Madison was cracking up. Yeah, don't don't mind my bed. I, I didn't make the bed this morning. The first product is by Avino. Like I said, I used Avino in the past and I really did like it and I'm not sure why I stopped using it, but I've never tried this one out. This, I'm not sure if this is new or not, but it is Avino Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. And it says it's a cleanser that reveals brighter and rejuvenated skin in just one minute. So, I don't know. I thought I would try this out. I found that to be interesting. So, I'm going to try this out tonight. And then I also used to use um, St. Ives, the apricot scrub, a lot back in the days. And I stopped using it as well. But I found this one. This one's the acne control. I don't believe the one I used to use was for acne. I think it was just a apricot scrub so I'm gonna try this one to see if it helps because I do get breakouts and a lot of blemishes so maybe this will help that out and then the last thing is this hair mask by Garnier and it is a one minute hair mask it's papaya extract in it so it says that it is a vegan formula it's 94% biogradable formula no silicones no parabens and no artificial coloring so we'll see how that works out i did smell it and it smells really good so hopefully it'll help um treat my frizzy hair as you guys can see my hair is naturally curly and i don't ever wear curly just because i don't know i've always hated my hair so that's why i always straighten it um but as of recently i've just one i've been lazing on doing my hair 
and two, I'm starting to embrace my curly hair. So that's why I've been doing my hair curly for like the past, I would say like three days I've had it curly. And yeah, so I just need some stuff for my hair that's going to add moisture and hopefully tame the frizziness. So yeah, I'll try all this stuff out. Comment down below if you guys have tried any of these products and how it works for you. And also let me know if maybe you guys want me to give you an update on how everything is working, then I will do that. But I think I'm going to clean out the car. The car is a disaster, so I need to clean that car out, then get the kids in the bath and start dinner. So I think I'm just going to end, no, no, no. I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I did vlog two other days that I'm gonna combine it with. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying all the vlogs I have been uploading recently. And if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's vlog. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.